Tops 1. Entering handwritten AP checks. This is the invoice that we'll be entering for payment. To enter a handwritten AP check, we begin by clicking on Accounts Payable on the menu. And then enter bills. If you neglected to select the community before choosing this function, you can always change the community at the top of the page. First, we'll change the type of invoice that we're entering to handwritten. Next, we'll select the vendor to pay. You can search by vendor name, vendor ID, vendor address, and more. The vendor we're looking for is ABC Maintenance. Our search has brought up a few different possibilities, but this one at the top is the one we're looking for. Entering handwritten checks can also be scheduled. We're not going to schedule this function, so we'll choose this time only. Next, we'll need to enter in the details of the invoice. We'll enter the invoice number, a description of the invoice, and the check number that paid the invoice. If the bank account that the check was cut from was not our default account, then we can change the account to the correct one. There are three different dates to enter. The first is the bill date or the date on the invoice. The next is the effective date. This is the date that the check was cut and will also be our posting date. Finally, we have the due date, which should also be listed on the invoice. Next, we'll enter the distribution by first choosing the expense account for the coding of this invoice. You can click the browse button to browse your expense accounts, or search using the GL code or description. Next, we'll enter in the amount for this item. Our invoice total automatically updates based on the expense amount entered. Click the plus button to the right to add another expense account if needed. Again, we'll search for the appropriate account. And enter in the amount for this item. Our invoice total has now updated to include both expensed amounts. Next. We'll attach an electronic copy of the original invoice. This function allows us to browse our accessible drives to find a copy of the invoice. The green bar at the bottom indicates that the invoice was uploaded successfully. Click Post to post this handwritten check or if you need to enter another, then click Post and Add New. After the check has been posted, you have additional options. You can edit the check. You can delete the check, or you can add a comment or task to the check. If you need to make changes to this check after the fact, you can access it by clicking on the menu, and choosing Accounts Payable, and then Activity. You can view the details of the handwritten check by clicking the down arrow to the right of the item, or you can click on the AP item. This will bring us back to our AP transaction screen with the same options we had immediately after posting the invoice. This concludes the TOPS 1 Entering Handwritten AP Checks tutorial. Thank you.